How are you doing guys? This is Diddle Mass Pieces, uh, greeting you in 2016. And today I'm going to teach you how to host your own uh, online match in Worms Armageddon. And we're going to use a very simple, uh, simple to use bot called uh, Hosting Buddy. This is a built-in bot that allows you to create your own online match. And it requires a knowledge of a couple of commands. So I'm going to teach you how to use those today. All right. So let's go to the network menu. Uh, join WormNet. It's the official um, server for the game. All right. We're going to use a channel called Anything Goes because as far as I remember, um, Anything Goes is the only channel that uh, Hosting Buddy works in. So double click it. As you can see, there's a lot of games at this point. Uh, and a couple of them were... Uh, hosted by using a hosting buddy so as you could see and there are two types of uh, online games that you could create you could create one where you could fully customize everything uh, by hand but that method requires for you to um, you know configure firewall do all that kind of geeky stuff and many of us including myself don't really know how to do it so a hosting buddy is a great solution for that all right so we're going to start off with a command, and every command begins with an exclamation point. So we're going to host, and then space, and then you choose a game scheme. I'm going to provide a list of game schemes in the description of the video. A scheme is basically a set of rules, or how the game is going to be played, stuff like that. So we're just going to do a basic one, call it intermediate. It's one of the schemes. And a hosting buddy is telling us that the game has been hosted. Please press refresh. And you can see it's right there. Now we already have a guy that joined in. We could kick him. And we could kick this guy. Okay, he left himself. All right. And then we could close the game. And we could kick this guy. All right. Not to be mean, but this is done for the purpose of this tutorial we uh, don't really need anyone in here right now so i'm just going to show you all the basic stuff without interruptions all right so you just saw the first two commands that are commonly used uh, exclamation kick and exclamation close so basically what a kick does um, it removes a player from a game so let's say you only want to play with your friends and you're skyping your friends and you're telling them Okay, get online, get in the game, and they will all appear in a list over here. And after that, if anybody else joins in that you don't know or you don't want to play with, you just kick them by typing exclamation kick space and their username. And then you, you could close the game by simply typing exclamation close. All right, so that's how that works. It's uh, pretty basic stuff. Now what we need to focus on is how to configure the game settings and all the different options and how the game is going to be played so I have a little list of commands for you now my my team is the community and as you can see the default number of worms in a team is 8 and the default color is red so let's just imagine there's more players in this section over here so I'm playing with someone else and they pick another team and another team so we have like three players in here and we want to change a little bit how this all works out so we're going to change the team colors the number of worms in a team all that kind of stuff so okay so you could change the worm count by typing in exclamation worms and selecting a team number so pay attention to that you're not typing in the entire team name you're just typing in the order of which the team is in so Six up is second, five up is third, so uh, two, and then worm count to, let's say, four. And you can see it changes it. Uh, we could also change the color of the team. As you can see, they're all red, so let's change that. We're going to spell out color with a U, uh, and then space, then team number, let's say, three. And colors could be red, green, blue, yellow, magenta, or cyan. So let's say cyan. It's like this sky blue type type of color. All right, so this is how you basically change the teams. 
pretty basic stuff. Now, you could also remove a team. Uh, for example, somebody picked uh, two teams accidentally, so you want to get rid of one. So what you do is uh, type in remove and then a team number. So let's say team two was not meant to be selected. You just remove it and it goes back to the team list. All right. So we've got a couple of more commands for you here. Um, this one changes the map layout. So basically it will generate a random map every time you type in exclamation map. Now you could also change the type of the map. There are three types. There's a cavern, an island, and auto. So let's see. Island. Okay. Map type will be island for the next map loaded. And then you type an exclamation map one more time. And this is basically the island. Now there's also a cavern. Now type cavern and then map. Cavern basically means that it's unclosed and the worms are fully inside. You cannot go out of bounds. So that's what basically a cavern means. Now let's deal with this section over here. Now as you can see if I manually click with the mouse it does not change anything and as well if I go into the weapon selection screen and I try to modify something it does not let me so that's one of the limitations of the hosting buddy but in other aspects it's pretty much the same all you need to do is know the code so now uh, let's go in order here this is turn time uh, so select how long players have to make their moves now it says hold shift for fine tuning now you can do that uh, using hosting buddy so we're gonna type in a command turn time okay turn time and then you type in the number of seconds so let's say 20 seconds and it changes it as you can see it changed to user defined all right so the game is not really intermediate anymore because we modified the settings but that's how I usually start it and really no difference okay round time basically how long a round will last before a sudden death begins now sudden death I'll uh, go more into depth about that uh, just a little later and I'll explain what that means but for now the round time is set to 15 we could set it to anything we want so five minutes all right and this is the number of rounds um, or the number of victories required to win the match and uh, you know some people uh, are only in for one one game so they don't really want to play a tournament so you could set it to it's not win match it's uh, rounds and one for example now you can see that change as well now the next option is the worms are moved in rotation now basically what this means is when it's your turn to play and to make a move uh, it will prompt if you want to switch the worm every single time now usually this is set to uh, off and you have only uh, two, three, two, three times where you could actually change your worm. Uh, this is the default setting. Now we could turn that off by typing in worm select and on. Okay, so now with every turn, you don't have to play as the worm that the game selected for you. You could choose, uh, you could switch between any of the ones available. So that's that's that. All right, next up is the amount of HP uh, the worm has in the beginning of the match. So that's called energy. And you could set it to, I forgot what the max is. Let's try 500. Okay, the max is 255, there we go. All right, so let's go for 250. That worked out fine, all right? Now, we only have a couple of options left. Uh, this teleport means worms are randomly positioned on the landscape. Now, uh, it's basically set to on. So the teleport is crossed out, meaning the game will put the worms where it wants. Now, if we want to position the worms the way we want, a exclamation uh, teleport 
and we toggle it on. All right. So now, in the beginning of the match, you will uh, manually place your um, little uh, worm team members wherever you want. Okay. So there's another one that is not really necessary, but if you want to see it, uh, it's called Showtime, and it will display uh, the amount of time left before sudden death begins. Okay, it's not going to toggle anywhere here, but uh, when you start the game, when you start the match, you will see it, I think, in the top left corner. That's pretty cool. Now, sudden death. So I'll explain that really quickly, and we're almost done with the video with all the basics that you need to know. But sudden death is basically uh, a, state of the, a state of the match that um, toggles on rising water and decreases... Uh, everyone's health to one so no matter um, how much health you have left uh, basically the game forcefully after a certain amount of time passes in our case we set it to five minutes so if the game does not end before five minutes run out the game turns to sudden death mode and the classic uh, mode decreases everyone's health down to one and the water begins rising so it's very important to start climbing up so you do not drown. But there are also other uh, sudden death modes, so let's check it out. Sudden death, and there's also nuke. Okay, so after five minutes pass, uh, there's going to be a nuclear strike, so everyone that's not uh, hidden well inside the terrain will get damaged and die. So that's a nuclear strike. There's also... There is also none. And the one I was telling you about in the beginning, the classic one, the waters will begin rising and the HP will get down to one. So there we go. They even show us one HP. All right, there's also a cool little thing. Uh, if you want some more juice, you could uh, toggle on blood. Say on, blood enabled. So. That's self-explanatory. Uh, if you want to see your worms bleed, that's that. All right, guys, this was uh, hopefully a basic tutorial on how to use the very basic commands uh, with the hosting buddy in uh, Worms Armageddon. Uh, this was DM. Guys, hope you uh, enjoyed. Hope this helped you out. And if you have any more questions, uh, definitely ask me, and I will also leave some resources in the description of the video. Alright guys, thanks so much. Bye-bye.